Hey guys, today on the podcast we got Tolly Latu. He's currently playing for State Francis over in France and he's also played for the New South Wales Waratahs and the Australian Wallabies. He played in the World Cup in 2019. I hope you guys enjoy the podcast with Tolly What did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, to be honest, I wanted to be, I always wanted to be in like a rugby player. Um, as soon as I started playing it when I was five, um, yeah, I, I just knew I wanted to play mm-hmm. rugby for a living. So, yeah, How was, would your... Sorry. No, yeah, go. Okay. How would your oldest friend describe you? Um, loud. Uh, a joker. <laughs> Always mucking around, so... Yeah, don't really take anything too seriously. Um, yeah. Good thing. Um, good, good sometimes, but also can... Um, Go against me. <laughs> what are you most proud of? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I haven't really thought of that. Um, I was proud to, to put on... One of the things was probably proud, proud to um, wear the green and gold representing yeah. Australia, my country. So... Um, Going to World Cup was pretty proud of that, and um, yeah. Yeah, it's good. How do you handle hard times? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I, don't know, I sort of um, I go to I ask people that are really close to me um, for help and sort of get their. Um, get their idea of what they will do in that situation and yeah, take it from there. Yeah. Was it hard moving from Australia to France? Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely harder. Um, different language, um, trying to learn another language was, was, is tough and my French is still horrible. So, um, yeah, I haven't learned, learned much there. So, um, yeah, it's tough being um, being over there by myself and yeah. trying to um, get around the language barrier was tough. Yeah, what's the most? What's the word you use most in French? Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> you've played for set. You played for State Francis. Is that right? Uh, stud. Stud. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's in right. Europe and the yeah. Waratahs in Australia, what's the difference in the training and the style of football? Um, over in France, it's a, it's a bit more. Um, it's a bit more. The pace isn't as quick as Super Rugby, um, but set piece they're very, really focused on their set piece and um, really make sure that their set piece is. Um, really working and they're really focused on that and um, training wise probably a lot more running um, at the Tars than it is in France because um, just because of the pace of Super Rugby um, yeah. making sure that you're you're, you're, at, you're at your fittest when um, when the season comes around yeah what was it like winning a Super Rugby title um yeah that was awesome like um it was awesome feeling my first year as a professional so um yeah everyone dreams of it everyone yeah. plays super rugby and is um that's what definitely one of their goals um so to do it in the first year of uh, being a professional was was um was awesome because like you had guys like Wycliffe Palu at a national Cooper, like, like the team was just, our team was stacked, and um, those guys had like, I know Swoopy at a national Cooper, um, 
he was he played ten years and hadn't he's he's gone to finals but hadn't won it won a Super Rugby title so um, for him to wait that long and then to think about how I just my first year was was um, pretty fortunate to be um, in that squad and win a Super title uh, Super Rugby title was was special. Yeah. What was the experience like playing in the World Cup last year? Yeah, it was something that I always uh, cherish and um, I always um, yeah re- remember. And it was it was just awesome. Like the Jap- Japanese people were really, really nice, really welcoming. Um, um, yeah, it was just something. It was just totally, totally what I expected and more yeah. uh, it was just awesome to be a part of it and yeah to, to um, participate in the World Cup was was another goal of mine um, growing up so to to um, to achieve that was was um, really special for myself yeah. and my family Do you want to be there in 2023? Uh, I hope so um, it's definitely Definitely, um, I haven't really sat down and thought about it, but um, it has crossed my mind, and um, it's, yeah, it's definitely not out of the out of out of my books yet. So um, yeah. we'll just see how how to, how my body <laughs> um, goes with playing over in France, um, yeah. and then um, yeah, hopefully make a decision probably next coming few years yeah. yeah are you enjoying playing over in france um it's different um it's our group the group that we have over there is really really good um we have our awesome team but um we haven't been getting the results yeah. uh, that we want and that we wanted and um we're sitting last on the table and <laughs> which is um yeah not used to that and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just different. It's but playing wise, it, it's 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 different. Um, yeah, it takes. It took me a while to sort of adjust to it, and, and now that I'm, I feel like I've adjusted to it, it feels. Um, yeah, it feels good. Yeah. How are you keeping yourself busy and fit during quarantine? Oh. Um. Try not to eat KFC too much. <laughs> No, um, or Maccas. Um, yeah. No, but I don't know. Just trying to do some home um, home workouts. Yeah. Um, it's pretty hard without gym equipment, but you can do weighted stuff, like body weighted stuff. So yeah. just been trying to do that and some sort of uh, some um, form of exercise, exercise um, every day. So yeah. yeah. Who's the worst teammate to room with and why through your career? I don't know. Um, I have, I've been lucky enough to have pretty good roomies. But I think um, if, everyone, if, if you ask anyone else that has room with me, um, I would probably be the, the worst roommate that, that they've had. Um, but, yeah, I haven't really had any bad roommates. Um, yeah, I've, I've um, yeah. It's come to think of it, I haven't actually had any bad. Like I've, I've enjoyed in, like all the roommates that I've been with. Yeah. Anyone done anything like really stupid? Um, like as a roommate. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably um. Oh, actually, in in France, um, mm-hmm. we have this. I, had, I was rooming with uh, <coughs> with uh, this Fijian, Fijian fella, um, mm-hmm. and he. I don't know. He when he's in the toilet, he's on FaceTime or something, or video calling back home or something. So, I don't know if he's actually using the toilet or he just goes in there because he doesn't um, doesn't want me to hear what he's saying, but. He's, 
you're speaking in Fiji in any way. So I find yeah. that <laughs> What's the best word to describe you right now? Mm. I don't know. Uh, probably chilled. Yeah. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> Bored. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely bored. Yeah. Feels uh, like I haven't seen another familiar face in a long time. So. Yeah. Also, with the familiar faces, how long since you haven't seen your team for? Uh, it's been a while, but we always do Zoom calls. So yeah. yeah. Zoom team calls. So um, see the ugly mugs on that um, yeah. a couple of times. Like once every two weeks or something. Uh, so yeah, it's it's um, yeah. So just yeah, with everything going on, that's how you keep uh, keep in contact. Yeah. What advice would you give a twelve-year-old today? Um, cliche as it is, probably just what do you you want to do. Don't let anyone else tell you you can't. Yeah. Thanks for coming on today, Tolu. No, that's all right. So that was Tolu Latu. I really hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Don't forget to like on YouTube and subscribe on Apple Podcasts as well as YouTube. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown.